Hello and thanks for watching this Cloud9 ERP solutions video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about a new feature, a new integration to Acumatica 2021 R2 for SendGrid. So SendGrid is a product that allows you to send out messages through their platform. And the benefits to SendGrid is functionality such as tracking. So when sending out messages, there's a few features that are very important. The first one is we need to be able to give our email recipients the ability to unsubscribe to an email. So if we're in Acumatica and we're using the marketing area of Acumatica and we're sending out mass emails, our mass email area. So the mass emails section of Acumatica, if we open one up, now, this could be an email out to a campaign or a marketing list. When we send these out, we need to be able to give our recipients the ability to unsubscribe. If we don't do that, we can have the potential to get our email account or email domain blacklisted. So that's very important. Acumatica doesn't have that facility built in. However, when you use SendGrid, you can have the unsubscribe in there. Additionally, SendGrid allows us to see when an email has been delivered, when it's been opened, and if there's any clicks that have occurred inside the body of the email. So these are very beneficial features. And with Acumatica 2021 R2, we now have this integration. So if we go to our system email, and we'll use a name of SendGrid, We'll give ourselves an email address. We'll use the same email address for the reply. And then the email service plugin, this is available when under enable features, you go down to third party integrations and you turn it on. And again, assuming you have the license, this is all part of your licensing. So now the next thing we need to do is enter an API key. So to do that, we go over to SendGrid, and we go into Settings, and we go to API Keys. And then over here, we can create our API key. So we're going to give it a name, and this is going to be Cloud9ERP Test. We're going to give it full access, the ability to do these API calls, get, patch, put, delete, post, and we'll create and view. So now that we've done that, we now have one opportunity to copy and paste our API key. So we're going to click on it, and you can see that it puts it in the clipboard. If we go back to Acumatica, and we paste that API key here, and we save it, you can now see that Acumatica has brought in the name of the API key. And then we have some options here. So let's go through some of these options. So this categories allows you to define a category. Anytime we use this email account, we can apply a category against that email. This will be helpful if you're trying to collate these emails together in Acumatica. Maybe you have a generic inquiry, maybe you're into the all emails section of the all email screen of Acumatica. We also have the ability to track email opens. We talked about that before. This turns that on. You check that. That'll turn it on. Track clicks inside an email. That's that. And the other thing we need is we need to enable a webhook. So in Acumatica, when we check this, a webhook is created. Now, what a webhook is, is its ability for Acumatica to listen, to listen to another software program or service to reach out to Acumatica and communicate with Acumatica. So that's what the webhook is. When we save this, you could see Acumatica gives us a webhook ID and it gives us a URL. Now we can see it here, the URL. But we can also search for webhook in Acumatica. That's a screen there. If we do a lookup, you'll see our SendGrid webhook. 
And that, of course, is the same URL that we have over here. So now the other thing we want to do is we want to copy this webhook URL and go back to SendGrid, go over to Mail Settings, and enter an event webhook. So we'll go over here and we'll paste it and we can click save. And if we want to go back, we can test our webhook. So if we click on test, now we can go back over to Acumatica and we should see request history. However, under request to keep, I have it off. So let's turn that back on. Let's save it. And if we go back to send grid and hit test, we go over to our webhooks and refresh. You can see that we're now communicating. SendGrid is communicating to our webhook in Acumatica. So this is all working. This is all functional. So now that we have our system email account, it's called SendGrid. It's all set up here. We have all our events and everything is turned on. So if we were to go to a support case, for example... And we'll open up a an existing case that's open. We're going to open an open case. We go to activities. We'll create an email. And under the from field, you can see it's choosing test Greg. But let's change that to the new one we just added. And that is send grid. And we'll send the email to me. We'll hit the send button. We'll give it a message. You can see the tracking tab here. This gives us the ability to see the email address that got the email delivered, the email address that opened or clicked. So you'll have all that stuff. You'll see checkboxes here. But let's hit the send button. And now in Acumatica, this is requires an email process, pending process, emails pending process. So if we click over here and say process, you can see the operation completed. And if we go into our email, we can see the email right here. It's a test message and it went right through. So it came from SendGrid, although you can say choose the employee name. So it could be whatever name I had here up at the top of Acumatica, the employee name that I'm logged into in Acumatica. And now that I've opened this email, Let's go back to Acumatica. Let's take a look at our webhook and let's refresh. So you can see there's another event that's communicated with our webhook. If we click show request details, you can see the email that was sent out. It was gmercedes at cloud9erp.com and the event is that it was processed. Now if we go back to our case and we open up our email, under tracking, you can see the email was delivered. That's great. The next step, though, is if we open up this email and we click download pictures. So Outlook has a built-in protection. We can't see the total email. And there is some HTML coding in there that allows this email to communicate back to SendGrid, which will communicate back to Acumatica. So if we click on this and download pictures, we should now get an event that should tell us that this email is open. So if we go back to our webhook and we refresh, you can see this new event. And again, I'm showing you the technical jargon. This is how the event webhook comes back to us and how it's formatted. So you can see my email address here. It's open. We'll close this. We'll go back to our email here. Go to tracking. We can now see that not only was it delivered, but it was opened. So that's Acumatica and SendGrid, SendGrid's integration. It's available in Acumatica 2021 R2. And if you have any questions about this and you need to set it up for yourself, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching this video and subscribing to our YouTube channel. And have a great day.